Suns and welcome to another Galactic Mayan Astrology Report. So last time I did a video I was sat out on the land and being like oh yeah I can wear very little clothes again and it'd be socially acceptable and not freezing and lo and behold English spring now back to like being sat in my jeans and my jumper with my scarf. But this is a Galactic Mayan Astrology Report for the 7th of April, 2021. Now, you may remember, if you follow the videos on the channel and Galactic Mayan Dream Spell Astrology, that a few weeks ago, we had one of the most powerful 13-day processes of the entire nine-month cycle. Nine-moon month, 260-day. So... What we are now entering into is the second of the superpower wave spells, the second of the superpower 13 day processes. Now the reason that these processes are so intense is because they have 10 back to back galactic activation portal days. And essentially what that means is that the, so if you imagine, you know, and feel into the reality that's really hard to comprehend that reality is made of matter and matter is encoded with information and we are operating at a vibrational frequency that makes it a little bit difficult to tune into the more galactic or mystical aspects of our reality. When we're experiencing these galactic activation portal days or gap days essentially is that everything is a slightly higher vibration at that time so that means we're all in this like vibrational booster point which then therefore means that we're able to access different experiences of energy and our reality because we're all vibing slightly higher you know so it's a more potent time now the other very synchronistic thing and significant thing about the 13 day process that we're going to be moving into. So as again, if you follow me or you follow Galactic Mind Astrology, you will know on the 26th of July with the rising of Sirius and the Lion's Gate portal opening, that is the Galactic New Year. And within this astrology framework, we also go through 13 year cycles, as well as like 26,000 year cycles, but we're not gonna go that far out in our spiral for now. So last year, on the 26th of July, 2020, we went into the second year of our process, which is a 13 year journey with White Wizard. Now that second year, we've been journeying within the blue storm. The blue storm has obviously been stormy, you know? Then this coming July, we move into a year of dun, 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 yellow seed. And that is the wave spell process that we are now moving into. So when we experience an archetype, each archetype is embodied within us and within our lives in a specific flavor of us. So yes, you can study what the archetype means and yellow seed, and I'm gonna share a lot about that, but the reality is that we have all got an individual reflection and experience and relationship with each one of the archetypes. So this experience of the archetype comes through when we have a day of yellow seed, when we have a 13 day process of yellow seed, when we have a year of yellow seed. It's all the same theme for us individually with that particular archetype. So as we're going to be moving through a wave spell process with that archetype, we're going to be getting a feel of the theme of the coming year that will begin on the 26th of July, 2022. Interesting that my camera for some reason seemed to bloop and flash at that point. So here we are, yellow seed. What's yellow seed all about? So yellow seed is a yellow sign which means it's all about the flowering, the blossoming, the opening, the reveal, the reveal of the process, essentially. There is an energy of kind of completion sometimes with the seed signs because 
in the colours of the signs, we go from red to white to blue to yellow. Awakening, refining, transforming, flowering or radiance. So within Yellow Seed, we are experiencing, you know, as with the seed archetype itself, you know, it's the seeding of new consciousness, it's the seeding of the new. And within our, you know, larger process, this is following a year of the storm where the world has collectively gone through a dark night of the soul. What happens after the dark night of the soul? You know, as we know from our individual experiences, new life is seeded. You know, this is the resurrection point. So we're moving into this micro version of the year, this 13 day process of really witnessing what we are desiring to seed. What is our heart desiring to seed? but also witnessing what is being seeded within us and within our lives. What is the new thing? What is the new life? That's really what yellow seed brings. And, you know, also looking at the seed, you know, if you think of a seed, a seed is placed in the dark, you know, the seed is like seemingly cut off from all life. It's a very internal, process at the beginning of something seeding isn't it you know it's in the void it's in the nothingness it's in the darkness and then from there that seed has to break through everything that contained it in its seed form to begin to sprout roots and to begin to sprout up toward the surface of reality so again and so it is with our personal experiences of being the creator consciousness and the manifestation of the divinity you know in human form we have these conditions these experiences of trauma and our stories that our that are our seed casing and in order for us to manifest on a conscious level and to bring something into our lives on purpose we have to break through the shell of limitation so within this process within us, you know, we begin the process with the yellow seed in this very sort of dreamlike space, you know, it's a very internal dark space. And, you know, the first thing is about anchoring, you know, the first thing that we have to do if we're going to bring something in the, into the world, if we're going to get bigger within ourselves, within our lives, we have to anchor first, because if we're not doing that, you know, we might get up to the surface, we might produce something in our external reality, but then the wind or the rain or the external situation, boof, it's gone. So within that aspect of this archetype, you know, as is always the case, working with our conditioning is, is the key. You know, we, we're really here to be the reweavers of consciousness and consciousness has had so many years of conditioning placed upon it you know we've been so filtered in, a, in like our creative force has been so filtered through all of these stories and through all of this conditioning that it obviously is always going to be an aspect of what we are here to move through in order to to birth so also within this, you know, environment is really key. It's another really key piece of yellow seed. You know, if we're, there's the, I think it's a biblical story anyway. There's the fable or the biblical story. I don't know which it is, but, you know, if it's something about like seed being thrown in lots of different places and essentially where it will grow. And, you know, that's also something to, to really recognize within us as well. So yes, there is the, the breaking down of the consciousness that we've kind of inherited and been conditioned into. But then there's also the care for the vessel. There's also the, the nutrients in the soil. There's also the caring for our bodies, the caring for our lives, and the creating that safe, stable, healthy foundation for what we're wanting to bring out into the world. So it's a really, really potent time for us to be also the other way that we work with the galactic mind calendar so yes there is the piece of the you know the archetypal 
learning about oneself, learning about the universe, the universe expanding through us expanding, you know, our universal consciousness expanding through our own psyche's expansion, you know, the individual and the collective being the same thing. But then we also have the other side of it, which is this is our time navigation tool. So when we know that there is an energy of an archetype available to us because we're journeying with it, it's an excellent time to utilize the energy of the archetype within our lives. So this is about seeding the new. So if you're wanting to put stuff in motion, if you're wanting to say, I want to do that, I'm gonna do that, bearing in mind that we've been stripped back to present moment living and anything that we plan is subject to present moment living, which is one of the fascinating and wonderful aspects of what's going on on the planet right now. It's like, <laughs> in a month's time, you've got no idea what's gonna happen. Because we never do, but we create all of these stories and constructs around why we do. But that said, if there are things that you want to attempt to see if you're able to bring into existence and attempt to see if we're gonna align with, this is the perfect wave spell to be planting those seeds. So have a feel into the things that you want to create in your life. Have a feel into your five-year plan, your 10-year plan. Make action, take action toward what it is that you want to live and manifest and experience within the world. You know, this is the time for, for vision boards. This is the time for putting pins in the map. This is the time for creating conversations around things that you want to, to bring. This is also the time for, you know, on a, on, a, on a consciousness level, this is the time for seeding new ways of relating, of new ways of living, of new communities, of new societal constructs, of new, you know, this is the time of new. So utilize it, utilize the window of it. And as I say, you know, it's a, we've kind of got this like, <laughs> you know, like if you're playing a game, and you get like a turbo boost or something that lasts for a short amount of time, but it means that because you, you've hit that, you can like, if you're racing or whatever, you can blitz it for a while. This is that energy. This is what those back-to-back -back portal days are. It's like you go through like a speed ramp. So you're able to like shoot. I'm just thinking Mario Kart in my head. <laughs> um, so this is like one of those, we've got this booster. So it's also a wonderful time to utilize the booster. That said, if we are having a booster, that means in the same way as when we're playing a video game, it's more difficult to drive, yeah? And it might be that you end up driving into one of the walls or it might be that you like go off the side and you have to die and come back again. You know, it might be that it's more difficult to navigate within this time. But if you're able to drive your vehicle in this high vibe, and this isn't about right or wrong or being good enough or all that nonsense. It's just, if you get the knack in that moment, then you can really utilize this and bring some really, really amazing things and get a taste of what the whole year is gonna be like for us when we enter the 20, well, from the 26th of July onwards. So many, many things are seeding for me in my life at the moment. And one of the big things that's really coming forward is with Sekem and my connection to Sirius, because the Galactic Mind calendar is very much aligned with Sirius, as is Sekem, which is the Egyptian energy healing modality that comes from Sirius and comes through Sekhmet. And yeah, so if you want to train in that, hit me up. Like I've been doing online trainings and in-person trainings are brewing and yeah, it's a mind-blowing process. And it's a mind-blowing experience that I'm having right now in this uncovering the ancient connection to Sirius and our galactic heritage. And yeah, there's something also brewing within me about birthing a course or something around all of this Sirius wisdom that's landing at the moment. So watch this space for that as well. No doubt that'll probably come through in the following wave spell. <laughs> <laughs> all right my sweethearts thank you so much for watching as always have a wonderful wave spell and see you on the other side